Okay, so in this three-minute teaching with tech tutorial, we're checking out thinglink.com, and if you go to thinglink.com slash edu, it will take you right to the education-specific sign-in, and you can sign up for free as a teacher or a student. Uh, you can also use your Google account to log in, uh, and that is what I have done. And once you are logged in, you can have the ability to create a new thing link by uploading an image or video from your hard drive or going to the web. And I am going to use an image that I've used before on my blog. I provide the URL to that image and go ahead and click on tag this media. It is going to import that image and I'm going to be able to start working on it. I'm getting a little glitch here. I don't know what that's about. Just click on OK and here it comes. Here is the image. And to be able to start editing and adding my links, I'm just going to click the edit button. And now it goes into edit mode and I can click anywhere on here to create a new uh, icon that will rest over the image and allow me to put my associated link. So here I've shrunk down the view a little bit to make it easier to see what we're working on. And up here in the link or image address, I've just put a link to EmergingEdTech.com. And in the text, I've indicated that blogs are commonly used for resource sharing. And Emerging Ed Tech is an excellent example of that. And that's what's going to pop up when the user hovers over this link button in the thing link when they're viewing it in thing link mode. And we'll show you how that works in a moment. So I've gone ahead and tagged all these little uh, balloons in this particular image with a relevant link. And I'm going to go ahead in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to click this save image function. And now it's going to go ahead and save it. And oh, if I look over here, I'm going to see this share option now, which is going to show me how I can go ahead and share it. And I get assigned a link or an embed code. And I'm going to copy that link. So now if I go ahead and I click on the little uh, hot dogs up here and I log out of ThingLink, I want to see what this looks like. I'm going to paste that URL that I copied, the link URL. And now I see what this looks like to a user. And you can see that as I go through here and hover over the sections, these little pop-ups that I created appear. And if I click on the link itself, it's going to take me out to that link. And here I am, I can come back to my image. So there is my interactive thing link. You can also embed these images when you share them. Um, you can uh, share them using social media. Uh, and there is a setting um, back when we were creating the image that would allow us if we wanted to say, no, this is private so that others won't be able to um, share them. We can do that as well. And I do want to also show that uh, here you'll see another example where I've got some images and a larger text and I was able to do that by signing up for the uh, premium version which was $35 a year. Uh, under the free version you can't embed these little images within your pop-ups or adjust the font size. And there's other functionality you get under the premium version. So that is the introduction to ThingLink and with the free version it's pretty cool what you can do.